All right, here we go with our standing yoga sequence. During the standing sequence, we are gonna focus a little bit more on muscular endurance and balance. There will be an element of flexibility as well, but we are gonna focus primarily on building strength and then creating stability through challenging balance. I'll have you go to the right end of your mat, facing the end of the mat, big toes touch, heels just slightly apart, standing up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back and down a couple of times, allowing your shoulder blades to drive down into your back pockets, palms forward, lift all 10 toes, spread them wide and plant them back down. Now, I will be doing this sequence with you, so feel free to glance up as often as you need, but also feel free to just take my verbal cueing, find your gaze, your drishti, as we call it in yoga, your focal point, and just go with the flow, okay? Glance up as much as you need to. So standing nice and tall, begin with a deep inhale, and exhale, palms come together, hands draw to the heart. Again, inhale and exhale. And as we go through this simple, simple movement, starting to engage the breath, feel free to fire up your ujjayi pranayama. This is your breath of victory, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, keeping a slight constriction at the back of the throat. So you can create an audible textured breath that will help keep you focused, guide your pace, and also create heat within the body. On this next breath, take a deep inhale, lift the rib cage up. As you exhale, slight back bend, drive the hips forward, gaze up, easy on the low back, inhale. And as you exhale, lead through the heart, dive forward to a forward fold. Hands to the shins, inhale up halfway, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, stand tall, right where you started and hands to your heart. Inhale, fingertips high. Exhale, dive through the heart, forward fold, long spine. Inhale, lift, lengthen from the tailbone to the crown of the head, and exhale, let it go, give it all to gravity, forward fold. Inhale, lift, and exhale right where we started. Moving on from here, inhale, fingertips high. And exhale, lead with your heart always. Inhale, lift halfway. As you exhale, hands to the mat, left foot, giant step back to a lunge. Your feet are gonna be on railroad tracks, so they're about hip width apart. Long torso, lift the chest off the mat. Now leading with the left arm, start to spin open into what we call a five-pointed star. Hips, knees, and toes are all open. Shoulders back, chest lifted, maybe even gaze upward. Take an inhale, lift. And as you exhale, find a warrior two to the left end of the mat. Warrior two sinking deep into the left leg, building strength, left knee reaching for the pinky toe, pressing through the blade or the pinky side of the right foot. Shoulders are relaxed, but they are strong. Arms are long and strong as well, and you're reaching through the fingertips. So from this warrior two, we're gonna find that graceful warrior within us. Flip the front palm, let the back palm drop to the back thigh, then start to reach through the front fingertips, lifting the rib cage up off the hip. You could wrap that right hand around the thigh or around the low back, whatever's most comfortable for you to help open up the chest as well. Still continue to sink deep into the front leg. Take one more inhale, reach. And as you exhale, extended side angle, falling lightly onto the left thigh, Rolling the shoulder away from the ear, long neck. Rolling the shoulder back, shining the heart open. Reaching through the right fingertips, lengthening through the right side of the body. From here, a little vinyasa. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, extend. This time, the thigh gets a bit of a break. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. Triangle, straightening the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, bring the muscles back into it. Inhale. And exhale, two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. As you exhale, go deep, deep, deep into the thigh, building strength. And now inhale, reverse trikonasana. From here, moving into trikonasana, reaching through the left fingertips and the right hip, opposite directions. When you realize you can go no further without rounding the spine, simply tip. 
so the torso stays long, chest is open. It's not only a great stretch for the front leg, the hamstrings, but also a great chest opener, so spin it open. Gaze can be anywhere it needs to be. Beautiful, stacking the right hip on top of the left. From here, take your gaze down to the left toes, bend the left knee, left fingertips underneath the left shoulder. Start to shift the weight forward until nothing left to happen except for the right foot to float right up off the ground. Balancing half moon. Go ahead and shoot the ener energy out through the fingertips, spreading the fingers wide. And then slow motion from here, lift, long torso, and gently start to fall back into your reverse warrior. Beautiful. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands down to either side of your left foot. Then place the right hand down, scoot the left foot back a bit so you can place your left hand under the left shoulder, drop the right knee, and then simply fall forward and down through the hips, runner's stretch. You wanna feel a hip flexor stretch and a lengthening through the quadriceps. Feel free here, if it's in your practice or comfortable for you to drop to the forearms and just simply let your head hang heavy. You can also feel free to pause if you'd like and just stay here for a while, it feels pretty good. But as you're ready, hands come under the shoulders, walking the left foot back underneath the knee, curl your right toes under and lift the knee. We're just gonna come up into what we call thunderbolt, strong torso lifting off the left thigh straight line from the fingertips to the heel. From here, it's gonna take a great deal of strength in the left leg and through the core, moving into tree pose. So slowly come off the back leg and place the right foot to the inside of the left thigh as you bring your hands to your heart. Your right foot could be anywhere above or below the knee you like. Just keep pressure off the knee itself. Stand tall, grow some branches. Now left fingertips stay lifted. As the right arm goes behind you, release the foot, capture the foot behind you. Knees come side by side. As you're ready, start to kick into your hand and start to tip forward only as you need to to counterbalance for dancer pose. Back strengthening, heart opening, quadricep, hip flexor lengthening. On a deep inhale, lift and return right where we started, but the other side of the mat. Inhale, fingertips high. As you exhale, slight back bend, easy on the low back, only as far as what feels good for you. Inhale. And as you exhale, dive forward. Inhale, long spine. And as you exhale, your right foot steps back to a low lunge. Remember to keep your feet hip width apart. As you inhale, lift all the way up to a five point star, hips, knees, toes open, chest open. Exhale, warrior two, to the right side. Now building strength in the right leg, shoulders relaxed, sink deep into the lunge. Beautiful. Turning the left toes in, pressing to the blade of that foot. Maybe even take your gaze over the right fingertips. From here, flip the front palm and turn the fingertips high to the sky. Feel that long side body stretch, rib cage lifting, chest open. As you exhale, extended side angle, whatever arm variation you like. Then inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Once more, just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. This time the thigh gets a break. Inhale, reverse trikonasana. And extended side angle. Again, lift. Continuing to feel the side body stretch every single time you move into each pose. This time we hold that reverse trikonasana or triangle pose and make your way into traditional triangle pose. Left hip, right fingertips opposite directions and then simply tip. The torso is long, rolling the right hip under the left. 
Make sure if your toes are scrunching, lift them and spread them wide. Let your gaze be anywhere it needs to be. If you have any issues with the neck, look down. Otherwise, you can even take your gaze up to the top fingertips. From here, gaze goes down, bend the knee, right fingertips under the right shoulder, and lift off, balancing half moon. Spread the left fingertips wide. Shine your heart, torso open. From here, slow motion, lift the fingertips off the mat, bend the right knee, and start to float back, reverse warrior. Beautiful. And then cartwheel the hands down to the mat, moving the right foot back, right hand under the right shoulder, drop the left knee, and find yourself in runner's lunge on the opposite side. Hip flexor, quadricep stretch, beautiful. Now whatever your depth is, it's going to help you find your edge here. Go there now for just a moment. Maybe coming onto the forearms. Let your head relax. Just give your head to gravity. As you're ready to come out, hands under the shoulders. Then place a hand on either side of the foot again. So replace the right foot underneath the right knee. Curl the left toes under, pick the knee up. From here, set yourself up nice and stable with the strength of your right leg, Thunderbolt. Core engaged, continuing strength of the right leg and the core, moving your way to tree pose. Take your time, there's no rush. Placing the left foot on the inside of the right thigh, anywhere above or below the knee, no pressure on the knee. Grow tall out of the hip. Root down at the same time through the right foot. So it's oppositions, rooting down to stand tall. Grow your branches. Right arm stays extended. As you release the left foot behind you, the left hand reaches back to capture the foot. Knees side by side. From here, set your gaze. Kick foot into hand. The leg will start to lift behind you, and then tip forward only as you need to to counterbalance. Finding your expression of dancer pose. No right or wrong. On your next inhale, slowly release. Feet come side by side. Inhale, fingertips high to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. How time flies when we're having fun with our yoga sequence. That is your sequence. Feel free to go back, go through the sequence again, maybe even faster to your own music once you get to know it. Enjoy, and I will see you next time. Namaste. With this yoga sequence, we get to come down to the mat. So if you have a yoga mat, great. If you don't, just a comfortable place on the floor. If you have a towel, lay that out. Uh, but just be comfortable because we are going to both sit, but we're also gonna lie back as well. From here, sit up nice and tall. I'll have you turn to the left side of your mat. Send your feet out nice and long. Sitting up tall through the sits bones, through the spine through the shoulders into the neck and head. Inhale, fingertips high to the sky. As you exhale, fold forward, keeping the spine long for as long as you can. When you feel like you're starting to round the spine, take one more inhale, lift up. Then as you exhale, let it all go. Round the spine. Wherever the hands fall, let them be. Maybe they're on your shins, maybe they're wrapping your feet, your toes. The focus of this sequence is going to definitely be a bit more on flexibility. So feel free to come back to the sequence anytime you need it as a cool down and stretch for any routine that you partake in on a given day. From here, inhale, fingertips high to the sky. Exhale, hands down. Bringing your right foot into the inner left thigh, continuing to sit up nice and tall. Once again, inhale, fingertips high. And exhale over the left leg. So turning your chest over the left leg, Focusing on a hamstring stretch for the left leg. Trying to keep the torso centered so that we can really get to the belly, the meat of the muscle, as opposed to a little bit more inner thigh. So this is going to be an exhale as we move into a bit of a vinyasa, matching movement to breath. Your transition to get to the next pose on an inhale 
The right fingertips reach high, sweeping the sky. The left fingertips come along as the right hand plants behind the right hip. Then as though there's a string tied from your right elbow to the right hip, lift the hips off the ground. It's just a modified gate pose, or think of it as a side body stretch. Now you can either focus on reaching through the left fingertips for side body stretch, or maybe even open the heart to the sky. Opening up through the chest, through the front, the anterior shoulder. Take one more inhale, reach. As you exhale, go right back down the way you came, up. And hold. So we're gonna do this a few times, matching it with breath. My goal for you is every time you exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper into the hamstring stretch. So exhale all your air, and begin, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to do five total, so that's two down, three to go. Really open up the body. And exhale, long hamstring stretch. Two more times, inhale. Remember, every time you go into that forward fold, see if you can get a little bit more length in the hamstrings. Once more, inhale. And this time, just hold for a moment on the exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, just roll up the spine one vertebrae at a time, head up last, shoulders back and around. Turning to face me, take your left leg, cross it over the right thigh. Feel free to stay right where you are here. It's a little more comfortable for you to send the right leg long, do that. Otherwise, just fold the leg underneath you. Now hug the left leg, the left knee across the body so that you feel a stretch through the IT band, the outer hip into the glutes. Now you can stay right here, hugging, loving your leg. Or you could inhale, right fingertips high, place the elbow outside of the left thigh, right hand or left hand behind the left hip. Inhale, length through the torso. And as you exhale, energetically start to twist from the base of the spine, and then literally start to twist through the mid and upper back. Cherry on top would be just to gaze over the left shoulder if it's available to you. And then slowly release. Beautiful job. We're gonna go to the other side, keeping the left leg folded in, sending the right leg long. Turning the shoulders over the right leg, inhale, fingertips high, and exhale, forward fold. To the best of your ability, staying centered over the right leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine as long as you can. And as you exhale, just let it go, round forward. No pressure. Just let it go. No muscles needed. Just relax into it. Now on your inhale, your transition comes. Left fingertips sweep the sky. Point the right toe. Right hand comes up and reaches overhead, lifting both hips up, way up. Now you can either just drive the hips forward and reach overhead or open the chest. You decide whatever feels right for you now, whatever your body needs. Take one more inhale, reach and open. And as you exhale, return the way you went up, forward fold. So five times, matching that with breath. Exhale all your air. And let's begin, inhale. And exhale. Remember, with each and every exhale, my challenge for you is to try to go a little bit deeper into that forward fold, seeing if we can take advantage of this opportunity we have right here to increase flexibility. This is three. Beautiful job. Two more times. Lift, open, lengthen, and exhale, find length through the hamstrings. 
once more. Here we go. Lift, drive the hips high to the sky, open the front side of the body, and exhale, fold and hold. From here, just release and roll up the seated nice and tall. Coming towards me, we'll take the right leg, cross it over the left. Beautiful. Remember, you can extend the bottom leg if you like, but up nice and tall through the torso. Every inhale creates length. And then with every exhale, as you practice yoga, see if you can find more depth wherever you are. Left arm wraps the leg so you feel that outer hip stretch. The abductors, the IT band into the glutes. Option, inhale, left fingertips high, placing the elbow outside of the thigh. Then you take the right hand to the behind the right hip, long spine as you inhale. Remember, we find length. Now as you exhale, you find depth. Rotating, perhaps taking a gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, length, and exhale, twist. When we twist like this, we create compression in the body. Right now, creating compression through the torso. When you create compression, you actually restrict blood flow. So you may think to yourself, why would we want to do that? The reason we do that is when you create temporary compression, you slightly restrict blood flow for just a minimal amount of time. When you release the compression, fresh oxygenated blood doesn't just flow, it rushes to the area. So in yoga, it's called rinsing out your internal organs. So with that, release. We'll unravel the legs. Turn to the right end of your mat. Dig the heels in. Grab onto the hamstrings to help find length through the torso. Roll the shoulders back. Slight lean back. Perhaps allow the heels to float right off the mat. And find just a modified boat pose. Whatever level you like, your hands could be on the mat, wrapping the hamstrings, or straight out towards the toes. Maintaining long spine. So this is boat pose or a navasana. Ardha means half. Ardha navasana is half boat. Half boat, you simply open up. Beautiful. Engaging the abdominal wall. Snuck a little strength in on you here. Inhale, boat. I have a good friend that teaches yoga that calls half boat canoe. So we'll say canoe and then boat and canoe. Two more times, boat, canoe. One more time, lift, 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 lift. Exhale, canoe. And then I made up my own to go with the boat and the canoe. Take a deep breath. And pontoon. Arms overhead, deep, full body stretch. Once you've gotten a nice, deep, full body stretch, arms alongside the body. Heels come in toward the rear. Feet and knees are both hip width apart. Start to drive through the heels to peel the tailbone and then the spine off the mat one vertebrae at a time. Going into a modified bridge. If it's available to you, start to roll your shoulders underneath you and clasp your hands, pressing the pinkies down into the mat. Then continue to drive through the heels to lift the hips higher, opening through the entire front side of the body, keeping the gaze to the ceiling, try not to look right, left. Instead of thinking about bringing your chin to your chest, bring your chest to your chin. Take one more inhale, press to the heels, engage the quads, lift the toes. And then exhale, roll out the shoulders if you had them underneath you and come down one vertebrae at a time. A couple of windshield wipers with the legs to neutralize the low back. We're going up one more time. You can do that modified bridge, or you can go into full wheel. You get to choose. Modified bridge, you've been there once before. You can go right back up. If you're choosing to do full wheel, hands come above the shoulders, fingers pointing down toward the toes. Once you're here, my suggestion and how I learned was to do this in two steps, where initially you take an inhale to the crown of the head, but the weight stays in the arm, so there's no pressure on the neck. On the next inhale, instead of thinking about pressing through the arms, think about just lifting through the heart. Heart to the sky. So wherever you are, modify bridge or full wheel, or Dvadhanurasana. The idea is to just open, 
open your heart, open the front side of your body. Whichever place you've chosen to go, take one more breath, inhale, and exhale coming out. If you're in full wheel, chin to chest, and roll out one vertebrae at a time. Easy on the low back, couple of windshield wipers. Now, placing your left foot down, right leg comes up and across, creating a figure four. Then reach through that figure four and capture the hamstrings of the left leg. Now flex at the ankle, press your right knee away, and then flex at the opposite ankle. You could even use your right elbow to kind of press the knee away. What we're trying to do here is create a hip opener, pure form of stretch for the right leg. Almost there. A couple of final stretches, and you'll be on your way. Gently releasing, allowing the right leg to cross all the way over, maybe even taking eagle legs, wrapping the toes around the ankles. Let the toe tap down as the arms come out to the side. Maybe the hips move back just a bit, and allow the knees to fall to the left as you gaze to the right. Once again, creating a bit of compression through the torso, spinal twist. To the best of your ability, both shoulders staying rooted down. And coming back center. Other side. Figure four stretch right here. Using now left elbow to just gently, but with intention, press the left knee away. Flex both ankles. Just helps protect the knee, engages tendons, ligaments to support the knee. I want you to feel this deep into the glutes, piriformis. And from here, cross all the way over, perhaps eagle legs, arms out to a T. Legs fall to the right as you gaze toward the left, right towards me. You can have a gaze or feel free to close your eyes. Just take a couple of breaths. Any stress, tension you may have carried with you onto your mat today, just let it go. Perhaps you did the whole warrior workout and you punched and kicked, got rid of some of it that way. Well, now's your chance to just surrender. Just let it go. Back to center, unravel the legs, knees to chest. Use the strength of your core, the weight of your legs, a little momentum, and rock yourself all the way up to seated. Facing front, just coming right back to me, right back to where we started, Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Inhale, fingertips high to the sky, hands to your heart. As you go on to enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, whatever it may be, I wish for you peace in your heart, in your words, hands to lips, and in your thoughts, hands to the center of your forehead, your eye of wisdom. And with that, I see and honor the light in all beings and wish nothing but freedom, contentment, and happiness. Sentosha. Namaste.